and welcome, this is Baller Scoopa with Let's Play Castlevania. This game came out in 1987 by Konami for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And this is the demo of the game. We play as Simon Belmont. Simon Belmont uses a whip. Our goal today is to head into the castle and kill Dracula. Do we really need anything more than that? Why is the demo so terrible at the game? The game's hard, but it's not, not this hard. Okay, that's enough of the demo. Let's get into the game ourselves. Let's head into Castlevania. And we start as Simon Belmont, like I said, and we have a whip. So the first thing that we're going to do is whip these torches that are outside. And we will pick up hearts. Hearts do not increase your life in the game. They increase the uses of your sub-weapon, as it's called. But uh, increasing them up to 10 allows you to get whip upgrades. So we have our first whip upgrade there, and our second one there. And now we have the fully upgraded whip. It is a little bit longer, and I'm a fan of that. Over here we can get more hearts, and here we can pick up our first sub-weapon. The dagger. You hold up, and you whip, and you throw it, and it costs you a heart. Now, there is a secret here. I will try to get it. I'm not good at getting it consistently, but we'll see what I can do. What I want to do is jump across and then back. We'll see if I can do it. There we go. Get a thousand points right off the bat. These are looking up. Let's head in and whip monsters. These look like ghouls to me. And we pick up another sub weapon. Are you kidding me? He gave me two. All right, holy water. Uh, the best one in the game. Dagger's probably one of the worst. Uh, that was the first one that we got. But now we have the holy water. This is my favorite. Uh, it's possibly the most useful as well. But we will get points and money and, and hearts as we go. Now this one I have to have a little bit of strategy for. I want you to, there you go. Oh, I wanted the strategy and I still failed at it, but that's okay. We will, we will figure out strategies for that as we continue on. Now to go upstairs and downstairs, you have to actually hold up or down and the direction you want to go. You have to pretty much do the diagonal where you want to go. Right? There we go, there. Uh, if you didn't get the holy water at the same time I did, there's another one for you there. But since I already have it, it turns into a heart. All right, so up and whip, and we will throw the holy water and kill the cat. And we'll get more money. A uh, second second secret that I can show is right there. Secret money in that block and more money there. Money will just give us points, but points will give us lives. So try to get points. It's not necessarily that big of a deal though. Unless you really need lives. Uh, down here is an infinite spawner. I don't need to deal with that. We'll leave that for the time being and head up here. I believe heart there. Yes. And cross, cross there. Cross kills everything on the screen. But as you can see, uh, they will respawn. Doesn't kill everything permanently. It's everything on the screen. Let's continue forward where we can find a bat. This is our first, uh, well, the first enemy that goes in a wave-like pattern. It's not very wavy, but there is a little bit of a wave to it. Uh, if you just want to go quickly down the stairs, just don't hold the direction pad like that. I, w I was trying to duck because the bat was coming. Uh, but I can't find another secret there, so I don't care about getting hit. We have wall meat. That will heal me quite a bit there. Did I jump into that? Yeah, I did. All right. Get rid of that. Get some money. Head down here into the sewers where we can find mermen. These guys are not particularly nice. You can just head down here if you want. Grab that. Just has money in it, but it is points, like I said. All right, be careful around here. Try to get the timing right. Uh, do not hit this one if you have the holy water. At least that's my opinion of it, uh, because that has the stopwatch in it, and that is a downgrade. I swore that was a stopwatch. I know it's a stopwatch most of the time, but uh, at least there's a possibility of a stopwatch. All right, whip that. All right, head down here, and there you, we can find another secret with a thousand more points waiting for us there. And we will head up here where we can find more items and more candlesticks to whip. Simon Belmont hates candlesticks. Oh, well, thank you. 
just kind of wanted the heart over there. And then we can head up here, grab that, kill that guy, and head through to stage number three, I believe, of level number one. Uh, we do have a health bar on the top left and an enemy health bar as well. Uh, the enemy is the boss of the level, as is kind of standard in old uh, arcade games and Nintendo games. I don't think they're... Oh, actually, that's good. I'm okay with that. The holy water, although it is the best, it is not useful against uh, the boss. And there's the boss! This is actually possibly the most useful against the boss. Uh, it is a vampire bat! Uh, throw, throw axes at him. Probably the easiest way to deal with him. As you can see, his health bar is going down. Getting a, a couple hits on us isn't too bad around here, I would say. One more? All right, down you go. And we get an orb for our journey. Uh, over here, we can get a two. And we get a full heal at the end of that. So give me my points for the time, my points for the hearts. That's a lot of points for hearts. And we are good to go. Now, the two allows me to have two of the weapon on the screen at any given time. Uh, when I don't have that, I can only use one at a time. But we have made it to level number two. Level two, as I'm sure you might suspect, more difficult than level one. This is where I feel the game starts getting a little bit difficult. Just overall difficult. Uh, we do get a boomerang out of that. And over here, we can get access to a crown. 2,000 more points. We're close to that first life. I believe it's right around 30,000. Let's go ahead and throw that. And that's how the boomerang works. Useful against those knights, they too take two whips to kill. So hitting them twice with the boomerang does fit the bill quite nicely. I think there's just money there. Yeah, just money. All right, come on. Come on. There you go. Now, we want to head over here, whip over there, get ourselves another number two. Now, if you ha still had another uh, a two tablet on you, that would have turned into a three. So you could have three of them on screen at one time, but I really don't need more than two, usually. I'll just go ahead and throw that at you. It's just easier. It is just easier. 700 points, and I do get the free life. So I do assume that's at 30,000 even. And we will head forward to... Stage number five. This one's not good. This is the first appearance of Medusa Heads. Medusa Heads, the worst enemy in the game. Uh, whichever way you're facing, that's the way they're going to come from. Keep that in mind. And you want to hit them. Y you do want to hit them. They have an incredibly wavy pattern. And of course, this game has severe knockback. Probably about two squares on the ground there. All right, let's get them spawning the right way. I don't care about that heart. All right, the money is fine. Ooh, that was close. There we go. That's nice. All right, get a heart there. Just dodge that one. Is that the one? That's the one. All right, usually around this point, the Medusa head stops spawning, and there's a dagger there, which I do not want. The dagger is inferior to the boomerang. Speaking of which, boomerang. I don't know how that counted as two hits. I'll take it. But we'll just continue forward. Getting hearts as we go. I don't think there's anything over there. There is not. And we can continue through stage number five. As you can see, we just need to go to the left there. I believe it's just money in that one, so I'm not too concerned. Here, hit the Medusa head and jump. Hit the Medusa head. Hit the Medusa head. Ooh, that would have been good. Hit the Medusa head and jump. Um, I'm not too concerned about what's in there. And I finally get hit by a Medusa head. That was way too close. Way too close. Okay, that was, that was also way too close. But they have stopped spawning, so we're going to... Wow, we're going to take this opportunity to get that heart. Uh, there is meat very close to where I am, so I'm not too concerned about that. Should I use the boomerang more against the Medusa heads? Either way, let's head this way. Get that. And... Uh, I believe. Yeah, we'll just kill this guy first. Okay, and then just hop up. Stopwatch, stopwatch. All right, don't really want that. It is useful, but I, I don't think I need that right now. Kill this guy instead. Kill that, get another heart, and the meat. That is useful. Okay, now we just head this way. Oh, felt like I went through that one. 
Felt like I landed it. But we'll try it again. There we go. A little bit easier that time. Problem is Medusa heads are about to spawn again. So I just want to continue pointing left. In this game, you are locked into your jump. Uh, once you're in the air, that's it. You're, you're going. Just continue pointing to the left and hopefully you can avoid the Medusa heads all the way until stage number six. Stage six is not necessarily a cape walk, but we can get meat, so it's a meat walk. We will get some hearts along the way. Uh, this is our first introduction though to instant death spike, so be careful here. Uh, one of the problems here is that this one only goes down halfway, meaning that it has a completely different timing. Just duck in the middle. That's my advice to you. You don't have to get all this stuff. It's just points. It's just points. And hearts. Points and hearts. And these look vaguely familiar to me. Well, the ones up there. They, they look familiar from, uh, honestly, Ghosts and Goblins. The Ghosts and Goblins series. Ooh, there's a three! First time that we did get a three. And money, and a heart. I don't think there's anything more over there. There is not. All right, let's head up here. Do not run from fireballs. Just whip it until you win. They do take quite a few hits, though. And I don't believe I can actually hit this. All right, we'll do three. It'll fire again. And then we'll head up and whip it two more, three more times. And then down it goes. First one only took five, I thought. But I think we are almost there. No? I thought there was going to be something in there. All right, well, now everything's dead, and we can continue on. Anything? No, oh, they're not going to let me crouch there. To that point, they will make you go down the stairs instead of crouching. All right, Medusa heads again. But they're going to keep coming. Just because we killed one doesn't really mean anything. Now with that... Kill that. If you can get it to spawn while you're in the air, that's usually good. Okay, we have made it. Yeah, this is this is a good fish weapon. All right, let's go. No, it is. Oh, holy water! All right, holy water will freeze the enemy. Two. Oh, come on! You're almost dead. There we go, and down goes the Medusa head. Uh, that is, for the record, the final boss that will allow you to win uh, by using the stopwatch. Otherwise, you will have a hard time. Well, it does. the stopwatch just doesn't work on any of the other bosses. That's the last one. But that is the second stage down, second level down, sixth stage down. And we are ready to move forward again to stage number, or level number three. I need to get those terms right, damn it. 